Alright, first week of the season beginning tomorrow. Our first matchup is between Kansas City and the Houston Texans. I predict this one to be more of a blowout. I have very low expectations for the Texans this season. Deshaun Watson is a capable quarterback, but I don't expect the rest of the team, or the coaches for that matter, to play quite at the same level. And although he can carry a few games this season, the rest of the team and coaches will have to prove my disbelief wrong. I predict this one to end in a 20-31 Kansas City win. Next up we have Jets at the Bills. I see these teams being fairly equal, but I do believe Buffalo will have the edge. And this one will end with a score of 17-23. Next up the Packers play in Minneapolis. I see the Vikings winning this one out 12-27. I have a lot of questions about the Packers team. I think Aaron Rodgers is great, but I don't know if the rest of the team will be able to play around this. After that, we have the Eagles in Washington. Although I do think Washington is making improvements. And I don't think they are to say washed up. I think the Eagles are a much better team and will win this one 27-9. Next up, the Browns play in Baltimore. Now, as I've mentioned before, I don't have a lot of faith in the Ravens team or in Lamar Jackson, and I think they will have to prove me wrong on this. Many people would scoff, but I did not see greatness in Lamar last season, and he's going to have to prove me wrong otherwise. I see this game going 17-24 with a Browns victory. Next up, the Colts play the Jaguars. I believe the uh, Jaguars will be very close. However, the Colts will win this one 17 to 18. I have my doubts about the Jaguar team this year. Although I do really like Minshew, I don't think the coaching of the rest of the team are gonna be able to make use of his talent. Next up, the Raiders will be playing in Carolina. And I don't foresee many Carolina wins, although I wouldn't be upset if they can pull it off. I like the team and I like the changes they've been making in the offseason. So I see this one being very close but the Raiders will lose to the Carolina Panthers 6-13. to Next up the Bears will be playing in Detroit. I foresee the Lions winning this one 23-19. I believe the Lions have quite a few easy matchups in the beginning. And we'll begin with quite a good lead this season. I believe they have tougher opponents later down the road, but I foresee them beating the Bears this one 23 to 19. I do like Nick Foles, hearing that he will be starting his quarterback, which I think will give the Lions a run for their money, only a four point lead. But this is one game I don't think Foles can carry to. Next up, Seattle will be going to Atlanta. Although I am a Seahawks fan and hope they will be. Going 16-0, realistically, I believe uh, they'll be more around 9-7. and seven. At least 9-7, and seven, given Russell Wilson has never had a losing season. It would be shocking. So although I'm rooting for them to go all the way, of course, I do believe the Falcons will be an unstoppable team this year, and this game will go 27-35. Next up, the Dolphins play New England. Although I do like what the Dolphins have been doing in the offseason, not so sure they can beat New England in home. I think it's almost impossible to beat the Patriots when they're playing on the home turf for various related reasons. However, I do believe that the Dolphins will make it close and New England will win by only one point, 16 to 17. Next up, the Dodgers for the Bengals. I believe both teams will be decent this year, but Bengals will slightly outdo them and win this one 13 to 17. The Cardinals then play San Francisco, although I do believe the Cardinals are a force to be reckoned with this year and Kyler Murray will be a great quarterback. I do believe that the Niners will clutch this one out 23 to 26. Although the Niners could fall victim this season, much like the Rams did last year, I believe that the uh, 
I believe San Francisco won't let this happen and they will have a successful season starting with the victory here. Next up, the Buccaneers play the Saints. I do believe Tom Brady can bring this team victory this season. And personally, I think the Saints are a little overrated. They've been making mistakes lately. And I question if it's time for Breeze to take it easy and retire. I know how badly he and the team want one more victory in the Super Bowl, but I don't think this is going to happen. I see the Buccaneers pulling a win off here, 26 to 35. Next up, the Cowboys will be playing the Rams. I haven't been impressed with the Rams this offseason, and although I don't expect the Cowboys to have everything quite together this year, I can foresee them winning this game 16 to 23. And our last two games of the night, the Steelers will play the Giants. I believe this one will be a blowout. Steelers winning 10 to 23. And the last game, Denver versus Tennessee. Although I do think both teams will be a force to be reckoned with this year, I believe Denver can clutch this one out 28-31.